Hi, Carolyn Furster. Here's what happened podcast. And my question is for Jill. Um, so for your character, Tamara, she's at this point in her relationship with Delilah where everything seems to be slowly falling apart. But her relationship with her fiance, Casey, is becoming more so the fight. Like they've made this commitment to get married and everything. Could you tell me what it's like playing a character who's at this basically a crossroads between the two major relationships in her life and then having to deal with everything and how it ties into her profession as well? You know, I just have to say, just as an actor, I think I lean toward um, those type of women. I am drawn to dynamic um, women that have struggle. And so that was really exciting for me. Um, I was really happy to explore that. Um, and also too, it's, I mean, even though Delilah and Tamara, they've known each other since junior high school, but they're really like sisters. And even though I'm sure they, they have um, had some bumps along the way, but never to this point, you know, and I'll be honest, it was, it was fun for me to try to figure out how to navigate through that. So I actually like, like I, I actually loved it um, because you really get to see the true dynamic of, of what that sisterhood looks like on this show. And I'm just so excited for, you know, for everyone to be able to see. So I have a question from Mara and you said that you love playing Delilah because of what she represents and how she's an advocate for people who need advocacy. She's a, she's someone who's willing to stand up for people who aren't able to fight for themselves. And for the thing that I find really interesting with Delilah is she's very sure of who she is. She always knows when she knows she's right. She, she's very steadfast in, in what direction she wants to take, whether it's professionally or with um, um, raising her kids. And could you tell me a little bit about not only playing a character who's so sure of herself, but also one who I think is beginning to question herself with regards to her relationship with Tamara, because it seems like every, at the end of episode four, it, it, there's this moment where you, you're, you're beginning to see uh, something might fall apart and it could be her relationship with Tamara. So could you tell me playing what it's like playing a character who's so sure of herself in specific situations, but might begin to doubt as like time progresses? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's so it's, well, as an actor, it's 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 fun because you kind of go on this emotional journey um, and just kind of discover a lot of different things about, um, you know, where a character might be initially and and kind of find out where that arc is. Um, for Delilah, she needs that friendship, and she's had that friendship since since middle school. You know what I mean? For every single thing, I think it's part of what makes her so sure of herself. You know what I mean? You know how you have this person in your life that you can count on that's gonna you know, back you up when you need backing up and you, you know, that you can talk about like to kind of get through things and like, okay, cool, cool. I got it now. You know, she just doesn't have that anymore. So I think that that's part of how she starts to, you know, I think she starts to unravel a bit as it, as it goes, you know, um, she's got a, a lot of, I think, uh, blind spots, you know, in regards to how she's handling things emotionally. She's very sure of herself mentally and aware of, of um, how she should approach something and whether something is right or wrong and, and how she should best be in a situation. Um, but I think this, this relationship, this friendship, um, it's, it's so meaningful to her that it, it starts to you know, make things unravel um, in, in ways that she's not quite prepared for. But you know, she, just, she, she shows up, she answers you know, every, every call to the best of her ability. I think similar to, um, you know, most of us in our day-to-day -day lives, we have some issue, you know, that comes up and you're not, maybe your best isn't the same that it would be if you were, if you had your girl with you or if you had your backup, you know what I mean? Um, it was a journey, you know, it was, you know, you take on every bit of the character that you play. And so it was challenging at times, but it was also really rewarding just to be able to talk to Jill afterwards and laugh and, and like, you know what I mean? Talk about all these other life things because being in those moments with her that were so, were, that were so tense um, were really difficult. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> um, who, um, Carolyn, can I just say one small thing about this? Um, I, I, I just wanna say like what I would call, what we would all sometimes refer to as sisterhood and, and Jill, Mara, please chime in on this. But obviously like black sisterhood, the, the solidity, the solidity of the connection between black women is 
it's not just, how can I put this? It's not just a testimony to the strength of a community. It's also evidence of how much else got broken along the way, that it, that it remains in many ways the last, not, you know, one of the bastions, right, of, of solidity in the community. And so when you look at this season's story, I, if you looked at this season's story and said to yourself, what is the greatest threat to black sisterhood? Say, it's very unexpected what the answer is, right? The answer is capitalism. I think that's a really interesting idea.